rear axle alignment or how to change the thrust angle on a car without adjustable rear suspension. Well I had discovered that my wife's car was rear axle on the right there was pointed crooked like that because when I was driving behind her I noticed that I could see the front of her car on the driver's side so she was having to the car was going down the road crooked in other words because the rear axle was crooked and on this particular car 1979 Chevrolet Malibu station wagon it's not adjustable and so the only way to compensate for that is to uh, have the front end aligned to match well that wasn't good for me it wasn't acceptable this car had never been in an accident I knew the original owner it just had come from the factory with the rear axle crooked it was the uh, driver's side left rear tire was actually one half of an inch um, forward more than the the tire on the other side so what I needed to do was I needed to change that but to change that I would have to do something kind of extraordinary because there's there's really no uh, recommended way to solve the problem so I thought about it a little bit and decided that I could remove one of the rear control arms and lengthen a little bit and push the tire back and so I pulled off the control arm and here it is in this picture it uh, basically all the rubber is good there was nothing wrong with it, it wasn't defective it wasn't bent and the frame didn't seem to be bent so I took and cut it and lengthened it about half of an inch as you can see in this drawing and I reinforced it quite a bit um, I, in the inside of the the piece of metal I welded inside was actually a piece of pipe and I cut it and rolled it around the edge so that it was all nice and rigid and then I uh, inserted a second piece of pipe into the opening at the top which is in the next photograph to make sure that it was plenty strong and there's the piece of pipe that I pounded down in there and welded that in and then for extra strength after that was completed I took a piece of angle iron and welded it across that whole section there as you can see here now this is probably stronger than it was before and if you decide to do this modification if you need to do this I'm sure you probably won't because it's a very rare modification but if you do uh, be sure that whatever you do make it stronger than it was before you actually started to do the work and uh, it was interesting too because when I pulled that control arm out the wheel the axle, the whole axle kind of moved back about a, at least a quarter of an inch so that whole rear axle was under some kind of stress so uh, I put it all back together and uh, measured it all and it all seems to be pretty well aligned and I also would like to mention that we also put new tires on the car and uh, I noticed that with the new tires that the car constantly needed correction you had to turn it a little bit to left, a little bit to the right and it was constantly you just had to keep moving the steering wheel back and forth so I think now that with the uh, rear end properly rear axle properly aligned that the car uh, should be a lot easier to drive a lot safer too especially on corners because I noticed on corners you had a lot of correction to do and, uh, so I think the car will be a lot more fun look at these people they look like they're having fun driving <laughs>